Brisbane this weekend. Obviously, a couple of players missing through suspension, but some big isms as well. Adama, Rolly. What sort of state are they in to contribute? Can they go 90 minutes? Uh, Adama, um, yeah, he's, he's more advanced than Rolly. That, that, that's uh, for sure in terms of where Rolly's come from uh, and the lack of minutes he's had. But, you know, um, Rolly's getting better all the time and um, we'll see how he goes the next couple of days and, um, you know, whether he travels to Brisbane and what contribution he can make. But we expect Adama um, to be fully available for whether it's uh, an impact player or whether it's to start the game. In terms of Rolly, if he does or doesn't make mm. the trip, what sort of role do you in, tr envision him playing in this side mm. when you're able to integrate him? Is it central? Is it out wide? Because he can do a lot. Yeah, he can. He uh, Obviously, he came in to replace today, who, who left us in January. Um, look, he, we, we see him as, a, as an 8 or, or a 10. Um, you know, he's been playing there predominantly in the last six months. But we know from his period uh, in the A-League um, that in years gone by that he's played uh, as a left winger rolling inside. So, you know, we know he has the quality to do that and play numerous positions. And at the moment, we're just trying to get him um, as best conditioned and uh, getting him training regularly, which he hasn't done for a long time. And, uh, you know, we, we feel he's getting close, but, you know, we've got to um, manage his expectation over, you know, what, what he can produce on the field. In terms of going forward, to try something new again uh, against the Mariners with Salim up front. What are your inclinations for Brisbane? Well, that was Salim's first start since he's come in, so... Um, you know, we're happy with how, how he played in particular in that, in that first half. I thought he looked very lively and uh, very threatening and dangerous uh, in the front third. Um, look, it didn't result in, in, in goals for us, uh, which is always what you're looking for. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I, we, we've been happy with, uh, with how he's going and I'm sure he'll just keep getting better. Man has switched into a back five for that game to frustrate you. What were some of the lessons you took from that game going forward? Uh, look, yeah, the, the, the back five, we've had that with Wellington as well. So, um, you know, they sat in a deep block and, you know, they defended. And uh, if you look at the game at, at the end, um, they win 1-0. So you could argue that it worked for them. Um, for us, we, I thought we, we did well in controlling the game first half we, without scoring a goal. And, um, you know, against a deep block, it's, uh, you always have to have patience and, and control. And we had a lot of that in the first half. And... Uh, unfortunately, we conceded early in the second half and we lost our way for about 10 minutes there. We looked a bit vulnerable, uh, in all honesty. But after that, we regathered, but um, yeah, we couldn't get the decisive goal to come back as we did against West United. We see it two players sent off in that one as well. Roderick and Jordy. Jordy's appeal mm -hmm. wasn't uh, received by the review panel earlier this week. Do you think they should have reviewed that and overturned it? Oh, look, we, we had our view when we... Um, looked back on it we thought there was uh, enough evidence there to suggest that you know that that could be overturned um, you know they deemed it differently and said there wasn't sufficient evidence for that and we have to respect that decision and uh, Jordy misses this game would he have played a role this week had he not been suspended well you know that's uh, hard to say now um, you know because we knew on Monday that he was out uh, so we haven't had him in our thoughts for this match um, but you know that's and look, we, we've moved on from that, so uh, we respect um, the decision. We also respect the process that we had it, the option to appeal, which we did. Uh, uh, we got the ruling and we've moved on. Brisbane Raw, they came back very late against Western United, were able to snatch a point at home. You have shipped a number of goals late in games this season, mm -hmm. wins into draws and the like. How do you keep the boys focused for the full 90 minutes against a side that can finish strongly? Oh, look, there are always different challenges uh, for different opponents and um, you know, Brisbane offers uh, a challenge obviously playing in Brisbane, the conditions. Um, you know, we, we've seen them recently have some very good results obviously against Melbourne City. Uh, they had a breakout in terms of the goals they scored. Uh, they came back against West United, so it's a lot of fight and a lot of spirit in the team. Um, you know, we know there are no easy games in this league as it's uh, showing and um, you know, we're sitting in a good position on the table. We want to get better, we want to get more points and um, you know, it'll be a tough game but we, we feel we're, we're ready for the challenge. Without Roderick, who starts next to Damien? Uh, we've got a few options there. Um, you know, we've got Connor obviously who's very versatile, 
um, you know, Jason Garia. Uh, we've got a couple of young boys that we're having a look at as well. Uh, so we have some good options um, that can fill in for Roddy. Who are the young boys? Bosanowski and Sarah? Yeah, Bosanowski and Sarah, you know, the young boys that are playing with the MPL, um, you know, who have some game game time under their belt after playing three matches. So their match conditioning is good. So we're, we're having a look at uh, all our options and, and I'm sure we'll be covered in that area. And apologies if you were asked this uh, last week, but there was a report coming out that Jake Broomer has signed for the new Auckland franchise coming into the league next season. Are you aware of that? No, we're not aware that he has um, signed anywhere, but you, know, you, you have to expect and understand that you know when players are off contract or coming off contract that um, yeah there'll always be speculation about certain individuals and um, you know Jake could be no different. I won't ask you about your status again but yeah. are any of the boys in the process of like any of the out of contract boys is JD moving to lock any of them up? Yeah JD's speaking um, to all the players and um, you know he's going through a process now to Obviously, you have to prepare for for next season, and um, yeah, uh, he's across all of that, all those details. But um, yeah, at the moment, we feel we're in a good place where we are now, and uh, looking ahead and looking to the future, I think we have a lot of young talent coming through, uh, some senior players that are already signed up, um, and yeah, we're also looking to re-sign and also looking to see what, who else or what else can add value to the team next year.